Welcome to the season four premiere of Glee. It's the premiere. Have fun. Glee! I love my newbie. Yes, I'm a newbie. Oh my god, completely surreal. I was a fan of the show prior to being on it, and now just being in that choir room every day is amazing. All right. Totally waiting for a slushy to the face, like the first whole week on set, but I steered clear of that, so. I am playing Noah Puckerman's younger half-brother named Jake. And uh, he kind of comes in and he definitely has a little bit of an attitude problem. I think he, some things in the past have kind of put these guards up for him and we'll see if it hinders him from getting into the Glee Club or not. In this episode, we're auditioning actually. Right, callbacks right Yes, now. this is the big final Thanks. callback. This is like the first big group dance number. Mm -hmm. This is the yeah. first time I've danced at all. I'm from Buffalo, New York, East Coaster, uh, and I grew up dancing, actually. I started when I was five, and I did it intensively until the end of high school. And I actually got accepted into Juilliard my senior year for dance, but I turned it down to move to L.A. to act. <laughs> so I, uh, I came to L.A. and just primarily was acting the whole time and just kind of hit the ground running. Grease yeah. is so awesome. Yeah. I think that was like one of the first movie Musical. musicals that I can like actively remember yeah. watching. Every girl wants to be Sandra Dee. The C is It's like it just has a K at the beginning. Or Gang Gangnam 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 Hey, sexy lady. Oh, 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 oh. Open Gangnam Star. The song that Jake sings for his audition is Never Say Never by The Fray, which is a beautiful song. I'm a huge fan of the band. Um, and I actually sang that song for my audition for the actual show. So it's really cool to get to be able to do that in the show for Glee as well. Happy holidays. <laughs> Did you get nervous? Yeah. Did you panic? I Again, panic. ready? Right. And happy I thought you were going to count the holidays. holidays. All I want for Christmas is... Court Over Street. Can't there we that. go. Can't complain with that. The first, the first, that's the first Noel. The first the Noel. did sing on a cold winter's night. All I know is the first, like the first Noel. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I know it. If I hear it once, I'd have it again. I would have to say my favorite holiday movie is... I always watch What's a Wonderful Life, which is... This is by far one of the best movies ever. Um, I like Jingle All the Way. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm. Um, Sinbad. That's know, a really taking good it back. one. It's like one of my favorites. I like uh, The Grinch. With Jim Carrey. And the cartoon. They're that both was, good. That was his... His generation. That was my generation of holiday movies. <laughs> my favorite has to be... The Glee Christmas album, though. <laughs> No? Okay. <laughs> the Glee Christmas album? Yep. I came to LA, it'll be... It'll, it'll be two years, actually, in September. Um, and I've done, like, a few different Nickelodeon shows, and I just had the Blue Lagoon remake air. Um, but nothing where it's, you know, singing, dancing, acting quite on this scale. This is definitely my first big thing that I've ever done before. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite thing, is when we're dancing, and then it stops, and all you hear is the bass, and then you see everybody dancing, and they're all just like... And there's no music. It's hilarious. It's, it's funny. Because you are the most amazing person I've ever met. And I somehow convinced you to be into me. This episode is a huge Charlie moment. This is a kind of a breakthrough step in the right direction for them. They got some nice slow dance moments. Sorry, buddy. It's okay. Uh, Would you like to go to the Sadie Hawkins dance with me? Yes. If I got asked by a girl, I'd love for like the girl to be like, so would you want to like go go-karting this weekend? Oh, or like yeah. I do, do go bowling? Fun. Let's go laser says, tagging. Hey, let's go go-karting. Oh yeah, Beautiful. you got my heart. If you like a guy, pursue it. Because what's the worst they can say is no. And I don't think anybody's gonna make it like a huge deal and like, like a jerk about it, you know what I mean? The crazy thing is I actually was a fan of the show. I remember three years ago sitting in my living room with my family watching the pilot and you know, just hoping someday that I could be on something like it. And to sit here now and be on the show, it's been unbelievably surreal. Uh, it's been crazy for sure. <laughs>
and he was phenomenal. He's got like the whole Freddie Mercury leather jacket going on. Nutbush, I was just in there watching it and I was just like, again, one more time, again. I mean, it's Naya is incredible. Well, my dance background, I started when I was five and I grew up at a competition studio. So we did everything, tap, jazz, ballet, acro, hip hop, everything. And I did that the entire time. And then also in high school, I did a lot of extra ballet, um, which definitely played into the whole Juilliard thing. But um, so I really truly do do everything. I love contemporary and I do love ballet, but I love hip hop and jazz. So I, I love everything. That's gotta be the ugliest looking pumpkin I've ever seen. I don't know about, I don't know what you think, but yeah. <laughs> it was like, okay, macho face. And then it was like, silly macho face. And it was like. There's one section where the guys get on the girl's backs. And I, of course, was not about to get on Becca's back. And she was like, can I just get on yours? And I was like, yeah, sure. So she's basically riding me for like 30 seconds of the song. That's Becca Tilton for you. <laughs> I need to humiliate you right now. Bring it. The cord has great abs, and um, Jacob Jacob's got broad shoulders. My shoulders probably are a little bit more broad than Blake Jenner's, but that's fine. I'm sure he'll get over it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> The first time I met Melissa was during her screen test. I was screen testing with a bunch of girls, and she, from the beginning, was a standout. I mean, she was always my first choice. She was just so effortlessly, effortlessly gracious and brought so many layers to the character. And I mean, I think it's, she's been doing so well with it. She's been amazing uh, just shooting with her because a lot of my scenes thus far have been with her. And she's such a giving actress and she's so sweet and so nice. So she's incredible. Boys and girls on film. Girls, girls and, and boys. boys. No, on film? yeah, on yeah. film, yes. I have no idea what. Girls, that's Duran Duran, girls on film. It has songs from all kinds of great movies, like Moulin Rouge. Gentlemen prefer blondes. Is that what that's called? No, it's from Moulin Rouge, because it's called Sparkling Diamonds. Footloose. Top Gun slash. Risky Business. Risky Business. Animal House. Uh... Ghost. The Royal Wedding. <laughs> Is that it? No. What's it called? Oh, What's it called? Um, What's it called? With John anything. Cusack. Yes, there say we anything. go. There we go. The dress shirt just covers the underwear, so mm -hmm. it kind of looks like you're not wearing anything but a shirt, so that's kind of funny in itself, Legal too. and wild. Yeah, I feel like everybody knows at least that scene mm -hmm. from Risky Business where he slides out like that. I think for a split second, I was like, ooh, this is, this is a little embarrassing. And then after I dropped my sweatpants, I was like, let's do this. Yeah, he was ready game. To go. He I was, was ready. Game. Yeah, I was all Tom Cruiseified. We have these really cool black converse with red soles. So we're doing all of this choreography that accentuates the red sole. He like loved it. Loved I kind of lived for it. If I think of a Ren McCormick, I immediately think that maybe Blake Jenner. Blake's a surprisingly good dancer and really funny when he dances. He sort of moves well. The one person I think out of the cast that would be the Ren McCormick is Jacob. Because out of all of us, out of all the guys right now, like Jacob is the most experienced. He knows ballet, he knows all this stuff, and he can totally pull off all those moves. No, um, maybe Matt Morrison. Actually, yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. And it's awesome because we get to slide in just like Tom Cruise did in Risky Business. And we're not wearing pants. It's pretty epic. Like Tom Cruise not wearing pants. Yeah, I would say my favorite part of the number was the, the butts. Nice. Yeah, the badonks were good. The badonks were good. Badonks good were good. Good badonks. Everybody cut for loose. Footloose number is awesome. We're doing all this really intricate, awesome dance choreography with the shoes. I loved the episode where they sang Like a Prayer by Madonna, because I remember they were playing it kind of in the promos, and it was like this close-up shot of Leah Michelle, and it just seemed so epic and powerful with the chorus and everybody on the stage, so I, that was a moment for me that I absolutely loved. He is just the worst. I can't work with him. I think he's terrible. I just think... He's really difficult. I've worked with him a lot lately, and he is kind of a. No! I think that's why he won't tell me he loves me. Cut. Okay, well, maybe you could just bring him by, and then we could all sing to him that way. You know? Cut. He's just a filthy, mangy mud of a cat, and I wish the worst on him. 
for whatever reason, Darren does not see it. He just, I don't know if he turns the other cheek. I don't know if he just chooses to neglect it. This guy, this is crazy. Darren, is open your eyes. Oh my God, this is the best. Oh, get out of here. Let's I think you. Darren just loves pussy cats. <laughs> oh, I'm allergic, allergic to cats. Give us a break. Who knows where that paw has been? Probably in litter. Get your filthy poop, <laughs> poop <laughs> shoveling <laughs> hands off of me. <laughs> The scene with Mark was the first scene that I shot, um, and it's our confrontation, and we're in the choir room, and that was really surreal, just to be in that choir room for the first time, just because I feel like it's become so iconic with the show and everything, but Mark was really, really great, and I think that scene is a really powerful scene, because it's our first moment where we really kind of see each other. Uh, but it's really moving, and I think the stuff that he says to me is really touching, so it definitely affects Jake, for sure. This is our season finale. It is called All or Nothing. Every day. Oh, what am I gonna miss? Um, we're really lucky to kind of have all of these really cool people that have come together, and we've all become really, really close. They're some of my best friends right now, so it's been amazing. If I could talk to a one Samuel Sam. Jessica Evans, I would say, Sam, look, you need to just own up to who you really are and start with your hip-hop rap career and mm -hmm. take the first steps toward the rest of your life and really commit and you just wrap your little heart out. Wrap it up. If I could say anything to Sam. If Jacob Artis could have a conversation with Jake Puckerman, I would say stop throwing music stands. It's just annoying and it's inappropriate. Um, stop dancing so much. Who do you think you are? You know, like, come on, we're over it. Getting to play the bad boy is really fun. I think I kind of looked at it as, you know, bad boys aren't just bad boys for no reason. It usually comes from a history or they're wounded or something. And I think that's 100% the case with Jake. I think, you know, his family life has really affected him. And I think it's caused him to put up these walls and have his guard up all the time. But it's, it's definitely fun to play something that's a little, a lot different than you are. Um, and I think it really helps in terms of the character to come from a wounded background, to have reasoning for being, you know, the bad boy. This whole season has just flew by, but it's been incredible. I mean, best job in the world. The extras are here. Can you just get security to get in there? What's up, what's up, Tina and uh, Cheerio? Well, Sam and Brittany's relationship, you know, you guys, not again. We have the lovely, the one Miss Jenna Ushkowitz. My head's too big for that to fit on it. it is. Um, and she started off, and this is our day player. What's your name again? She's she's actually 42. She's, Candy, my name's Candy. She's great. She's been a great addition. You know, Thank she runs around guys. and gets food for us. And so sweet. It's I just, love the Glee yeah. Club. I hope I get in next season. Well, you, you won't. <laughs> you guys are just making this take longer. Well, we don't like to do that. Okay, please. Hello? Okay, you're 42. We get it. <laughs> Stop trying to relive your high school years. Hello? They're doing touch-ups. Hopefully touch they make her graduate We're next up. year. We're touching you up. Just right up here on the corner. If you want to Jeez. Do you want to blow? Yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, is a wrap on season four. Um, on. Charlie update. Most of the tweets I get are about Jarly. I've seen online the Jarly, all the Jarly stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what I like about Jarly is that they they come from such similar backgrounds and they they balance each other. We should hang out sometime. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I think they're very like kind of Tarzan and Jane sort of. They kind of have that vibe where he's the hothead, crazy, and she's kind of the sweet, innocent, pure girl that really helps him for the better. The audition process for Glee was crazy. I had to come in and prepare five songs, and I did gymnastics growing up as well, so I was like flipping around the dance studio and doing all this crazy stuff for them, and they were really excited. <laughs> you okay? Oh uh, yeah, it just got cold up here. The chemistry test with Jacob Artis, I like to think that there was like fireworks right away. Right after I got cast, they had not found Marley yet and they were having them come into the recording studio a little bit and she was the first girl that I met out of any of these Marleys. It's moments like that where I think it was meant to be. My first day on set, I was so nervous. This is garbage. Those guys suck and I'm the one being dragged to see Figgins. It was in the choir room with Mark who plays Puck. 
And um, it was our scene where we meet for the first time. And it was like a pretty big scene, kind of just to be shot out of the gun already. Show us what you got, just Jake. My first big song on the show was Never Say Never in the first episode. And that was actually the song that I sang for my audition for Glee. And it wasn't written there in the beginning. Ryan had contacted me and said, you know, we're trying to find a really great song for you for this first episode. Do you have any suggestions? And I threw that one out there and then they ended up really liking it. You can never say never while we don't know it. But time and time again, younger now than we were before. The day that we shot that, Jacob and I did both of our songs. We were both so nervous. The cast was just really great. I remember afterwards they were like, awesome job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Glee Club is so lame. What is Shyster have you guys singing? It's Britney Spears week. You Drive Me Crazy Crazy mashup was such a fun number to shoot. It was still like within two weeks of having gotten a job. This whole season, my favorite number, I would say the crazy duet in the bleachers. You know I'm crazy, crazy, crazy for you, baby. The sun was shining and I had my guitar and it just looked so beautiful and kind of being in that moment and sitting there and realizing, wow, this is actually happening was really special for me. That was like the first moment I had working on the show where it felt like movie making magic because they had the crane and Andrew Mitchell on Steadicam like rocking up bleachers. That was the first scene that I felt like Marley opened up a little bit. She's so shy, but in that scene she says like, I finally found a place where I can belong. I finally found a place where I can just be. And I felt that. And it was nice to share that scene with Jacob. Oh, I definitely felt like it was an introduction to Marley and Jake's relationship. So we definitely wanted to make sure that we worked on it and did it as good as we possibly could. I think that was kind of our big moment where here are these new high school kids and they're kind of falling for each other. the song that I get the most in interaction about from fans. And I think it was because finally Jake and Marley kiss. Uh, that was kind of our first big jarly moment. You see them just fully let their guards down. Not completely because she wants to say she loves him and she doesn't. I love the song. I love this song, but it's not right for regionals. It was such a special moment for those two characters and the way they had the lights flashing and like the orchestra. And it just all came together really nice. It's weird how routine yeah. working on the show is getting. Cause totally. I know for us, when we first started, like we were just sitting there like nervous about everything. Like it was just all super surreal and it still is, but now it's gotten to be a little bit more of like our okay. job. I remember it was kind of right after the show started and I had a really bizarre encounter with this girl. I was flying home for some reason, I don't remember why, and um, she just started like kind of hyperventilating in the airport, like cause she really, cause it's, it's a lot of like, is that, is, is, <gasps> and then just hype, not breathing. Stick with me and I'll help you get through it. Hmm. It's nice to have a friend looking out for me. I think I've only ever talked to Jacob about it how grateful we are to like have each other and have been able to go through this together and not have to deal with all the craziness of glee on our own <laughs> <laughs> oh which one of our castmates would make a good oh. president or politician politician i would say darren chris oh yeah president wow. i would say kevin McHale. did i nail it or did i nail yeah. it? yeah yeah it's pretty great yeah Pop quiz. What movie was holding out for a hero from? Mm -hmm. Nice. Isn't it from Shrek? Or it's in Shrek. It absolutely is in Shrek. Footloose. I know. God. I was making sure you know. God. Have you seen Footloose? Working with amateurs it's with this over actor here. Oh named Kevin God. Bacon. Do you know him? Yes. And it was in Shrek. Happy 21st birthday. Happy 21st. Sing it. I'm Jacob Artis from Glee, and we are in the Fox Lounge. The Physics Lizard's Lounge. Fox Lounge. <laughs> what do you remember about your first real day? Awkward. 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 Uncomfortable. My parents were there. I was being chaperoned.
Rapid fire answer time. Ready? Go. Night owl or early night bird? Night owl. Night owl. Er yeah, night owl. Early owl. New York or Los Angeles? Ooh. New York. New York. Easter candy or Halloween candy? Oh. Halloween Easter candy. candy. Air guitar or air drums? Air guitar. Air guitar. Air drums, because air drums you can kind of just Quick like. Quick fire. Quick okay. fire. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Chocolate. Vanilla. Blonde or brunette? Brunette. brunette. Baked or fried? Fried. fried. Definitely baked. Fried. <laughs> Monkeys or baboons? Monkeys. Monkeys. Puppies or kittens? Puppies. Puppies. Hipster or nerd? Nerd. Keep going. Breakfast or brunch? Brunch. Brunch. Breakfast. French toast. Best of both worlds. Miley Cyrus yeah. style brunch. Come on. Speedos or shorts? Speedos. 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 <laughs> party or after party? After, after party. party. Waffles or pancakes? Waffles. Pancakes. Manscaping or ah uh, natural? Oh, natural. Really? Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, Definitely manscaping. Donuts or muffins? Donuts. donuts. I love donuts. I love donuts, oh, love donuts too. Gosh, you guys are just, just getting married already. <laughs> Surf or ski? Surf ski. Surf ski? Snowboard. Snowboard. Oh! <laughs> go! Woohoo! Woo! I like go. Woohoo! Do it again. Dope. I go with woohoos. Do it again. Dope. Thanks. Dope. Dope. That's it for our rapid fire weird questions with. Jacob, Cord, and Jenna. Mine says, congrats, you're the Gleek of the week. <laughs> and mine says, Glee, don't stop believing. <laughs> Love, Jacob. <laughs>